Hello, welcome back. This is Epic Rose here with more Chrono Cross Blind. And uh, in the last episode, we actually finally defeated Lynx, and now we're done with. Uh, we are done with um, Wiper Mansion. Is that a pig? Really? Ooh, some eerie music. No, that's a lady, not a pig. <laughs> ah, don't you just love it when character looks like pigs? You're finally awake. If you're looking for your friends, they're outside. Uh, we'll take a look outside then, lady. Did you get a good night's rest? You can go outside through that door. Go say hi to your friends. I might do that. No, no, not that way. You got this way to get out. Well, excuse me then, lady, for uh, trying to explore. Oi, Grotus! You finally woke up, eh? Sure did. Give your thanks to Korcha. He's the one that saved us after we fell from the cliff. Looks like you're in good shape! My name is Korcha. I work as a ferryman around the Termina area. You're in a small village called Goldal, a little west of Termina. I was on my way here when I saw you guys in trouble, so I just picked you up and brought you back with me. But gee, you're such a wuss. How could you get knocked out from such a short fall? As for me, a little grace like this ain't gonna knock me down. Uh, are you okay, Lazarus? Your wound is kind of acting up. Uh oh, man! She's burning up! There's a clinic in this village. We should take her there. Come on, I need your help too. And he changed his voice already. Wonderful, Grotus. Can't keep a voice at all. Can't keep a voice at all. <laughs> it seems the patient has been poisoned with Hydra when him. I would say the most she has to live is about two days. If we had some Hydra humor, we would have been able to neutralize the poison, man. Doc, if you find this Hydra humor, we can save this girl. Yes, but that is impossible now. Hydras are now extinct on El Nido. Oh, I see. The El Nido is the actual continent. What do you mean, extinct? What's going on? Hydras are very rare and valuable creatures, man. The blood, bones, meat, every part is valuable. It's considered to be our panacea for various illnesses. That's the reason Hydras were hunted into extinction in El Nido, man. As a result, a whole species has been made extinct. Just to make a quick fortune. Is there no way to find this humor? If we could cross the sea to the mainland, there might be a chance, right? That is not possible. The current of the currents of El Nido are extremely dangerous this time of year. It is highly improbable to cross the sea unless you are on a larger vessel. Even if you manage to get there, your chance of finding how to humor bleak, man. We do not have much time. Doctor? Well, we do have the Hydra marshes, don't we? Hey, Doc! Where are you going? Nothing been resolved yet. Excuse me, I need to be alone for a while. Grotus, what are we going to do? Ceres is going to die if we leave her like this. I is this some kind of joke? Wait right here, I'll go get the doctor back. Yeah, what is going on? Who the hell are you? What's this? Non apologies for bumping into Mui? Oh la la, don't you know any manners? Oh, it's uh, the Harlequin. Haha, <laughs> she's down for the count, just as I thought. Grodus, mon ami, why don't we just leave her be? Who are you? And what's with the strange costume? Is that uh, I have no business with no chicken hawk. I am having a conversation with Grodus. You're bothering me. 
so keep your mouth shut. Why you? I ain't gonna let you bog into this room and get away with all the stuff you said. You made me mad. I'll show you some manners. I'm not gonna cut you slack just because you're a girl. I try if you dare. I am not a weak ass to be caught by a chicken hawk. Heh! You got some nerve, you're gonna regret it. Charge! Oops. Damn it! Where should I go? Ha <laughs> You're amusing. Ha ha ha! That was simpleton. It's so much fun playing jokes on you. I was only here to see how she was doing, but I had fun while I was at it. So long, Grodus. Arrua, mon ami. Please dream of me every night. Oui. I would actually prefer dreaming about my girlfriend. Tss. She's a loon. What's her deal? I just don't get it. I can clearly still see her there, though. You're Grodus. Are all of your friends like that? This actually reminds me of Telesymphonia with Colette telling uh, uh, Lloyd that Lloyd sure has some strange friends. Oh, Grotus. Come on, go talk to her. Hello, Solar. Grotus, are you going to see Thress? What you doing? Hurry up and go show your face. Even if she's suffering from a high fever, she's worrying about you, Grotus. I can still see um, Harlequin here, though. I'm literally walking and standing on Harlequin right now. Not sure if that's supposed to be, or... Uh, either way, it's, it's fine. Grotus, I'll leave this with you. It's my favorite amulet. Oh, we got the Astral amulet. Remember what the... Prophet said, Grotus, where did it all start? Where do angels lose their way? Try to remember, Grotus. I'm feeling a bit tired. I'm gonna rest up for a while. So we're gonna travel back to our own dimension, to the Hydra Marshes, I suppose. You heard what the doc said. There's no more Hydras in this world. On top of that, there's no way to get to the mainland, and El Nido isn't that small of a place. Are you gonna take a one in a million chance to search for this thing? Just to save a girl you barely even know? Hey, what you gonna do? I'm gonna find a way to save her. We're good guys. Alright then, I'll come along with ya. Oh, we got a new party member, how nice. About damn time. Too bad we didn't get rid of Solora, I'm not a big fan of him. By the way, do you even have a clue where to start looking? Hey, do ya? Actually, I do. Tss, that's what I thought. Where in the world should we start? All we have left it, uh, is that girl's amulet. Damn! What are we gonna do? If only we had some kind of clue. Um, actually, we do have a clue. We can go back to the beach. Maybe you should go see the shaman. The shaman might be able to give you some clues from that amulet. That's right, the shaman. A shaman? That's an unfamiliar word. The shaman here is the power of the dragon god and governs the village. They're like a mayor or chief. The shaman might know something. Although I can't say for sure, it's worth a try. We'll continue this outside. Let's decide what to do on the boat. Sounds fine by me. So, are we allowed to name him yet or... Huh? Uh oh, Lynx is here. Oh, you're Luna, from Elle's place. What? Oh, hey. That Mel, what is she up to? Beats me what she's up to. What's up? It's just a cat. Actually, no, it was Lynx, illusion. Strange guy. Come on, let's get going. Can I name him now? I kinda want to name him. We need to get going as soon as possible, but you probably need to equip yourself, right? I'll be waiting here. Call me when you're ready to go. We haven't got much time, so hurry. If you need to see the shaman, go down this way. Take the ladder to the second floor of the merchant tower and go left. There's a tower called the Dragon Shrine. Compared to Termina, this is a small village. 
So you wouldn't have any problems with getting lost. Okay, that's good. No need for us to get lost. Welcome, travelers. I will trade you materials for your extra elements here. Uh, sure. Might as well check out that. So let's see what the actor has to trade. Uh huh. No, thank you. Dear sirs, your travel site, although I hesitate to do so, I have a favor to ask of you. I received a, this bone from a trader, but I would like you to set it adrift in the seas. I'm sure its real owner would like to have it. Return to nature. Uh, sure, I'll do it. Why, thank you. Here it is. Please take good care of it. And we get the pelvic bone. So Scaly has another bone. Yeah, you need guts to get through life. Hey, that's right. My favorite dish is Terminus Famous Squid Gut, gut Pasta. So we've got three pieces. I have no idea how many more we need. Equipment is essential to protect yourself from danger. It's something like this when you need the latest goods. I'm still just an apprentice smith, but my passion for week is golden. Oh, for work is golden. So let's upgrade the equipment then, and we shall see. So let's forge. Uh, okay, it's actually better than what we previously have. Also, there's a lot of character we can have, apparently. So I can make a copper swallow. So we're gonna forge that. Uh, and as for armor, we could make a bronze west. Or a bronze mail. I think we're gonna make a bronze mail. One for Thaler. Make him a little bit better. As for accessories, we already have good accessories. Thanks, I'm... Thanks a bunch. Stop by again. Yeah, we shall be doing that. So what do we have down here? Someone at the boat. Let me rest a little bit. Even though I might look strong, I only have the strength of an average human. Well, sometimes we all need to rest. My partner is a damn human, but he's got no energy. Jeez, he's worthless. That's kind of mean. But oh well, I suppose it's true. I suppose he's kind of useless. The demi humans in this village get along with humans, but many other of our kind still hold a grudge against humans. Those that were driven off the mainland gathered to build the village of Marbul. It's on the big island way down south, southeast from here. Ah, I see. I'm gonna guess the shaman's inside. Another life is about to slip through my hands, just like before, man. Nothing has changed at all. By studying medicine, man, I'm so powerless. So, are you going to just give up on this life? That's not the case, is it? If you don't, who else will help you back from the edge of life and death? I don't know your past. Living bound by the past is a very painful thing. You need to face reality head on. Running away isn't a sin, but it accomplishes nothing. But I... One thing is different from the past. You have the ability to heal. Everyone in this village recognizes that. Don't suffer by yourself. If you give up now, you will never be freed from your past. Now go. Don't let it end without doing something first. I have done them a discourtesy. I'm a failure as a doctor, but I must do what I can, man. Thanks, Orla. That's an odd scene, but oh well. Okay, let's not go in right now, fair enough. Sorry to be abrupt, but have you ever come across a shiny material? A shiny material? Elements are common items nowadays, but they're especially kind called summon elements. This kind releases awesome power depending on one of the six attributes. The shiny material is a mysterious byproduct of this phenomenon. This material is an essential item for craftsmen to forge advanced weapons, armor, and accessories. Still, everything depends on the skill of the craftsman. Oh, I see. No, I have not come across a summon uh, elemental. 
The population is lower compared to the past. All customs and lords might fade away with times. That's usually the case with things in life. As less and less people remember it, the more and more it dies off. That's just how life works. Also, this city is a little bit bigger than I realized. Um, from a lecture on this, see my big brother. He's at the residential tower. Please come back when you're done. Say, have you ever heard of the six dragons? In this world, there's supposedly six dragon gods somewhere out there. The six great dragon descendants from the heavens to seal away the evil and promise eternal prosperity across the land. This is part of an old song that's been passed down in El Nido for a long time. I wonder what they look like. This is Dragon Shrine, residence of our chief, Shaman Direa. Be sure to act cautiously on the premises. Uh, I will, I will. So let's go see the shaman, or the shaman. Okay, there's a save point here. Welcome to the Dragon Shrine. I am Stina, a shaman, serving village chief and high priestess Derea. I presume that you have come this, to this shrine seeking assistance. Please don't hesitate to ask Chief Derea for guidance. You possess a young but gentle air about you. Hmm, there's an odd wind that is whirling about. I have heard that such wind bears appear at times, but... Ah, this is actually a remix song from Chrono Trigger. I think it's Shala's theme. I could be wrong though. Do you speak the truth? That you are already dead in this world? Hmm, I see. So that's why you have an odd air about you. As for a way to return to your original world, I don't even know. But there are always reasons why such phenomena occur. The land of Genesis. Your only key may lie there. The key that connects your world to this one. Shall we say it's a dimensional distortion of sorts? If events in your world are diff oh if events of your world are different from events here, it may be possible to save the girl, stricken with the Hydra poison. That is if the extinct Hydra still exists in your world. I think they do, in the Hydra marshes. El Nido has long been called the land where the dragons sleep. There are islands named after dragons, and numerous Dragonian ruins and artifacts. You may have encountered some of these already. The most famous are the island of the Sky Dragon, the Earth Dragon and the Water Dragon, and the ancient ruin Fort Dragonia that lies to the east. Of many Dragonian ruins, Fort Dragonia is one of the few that is still fully functional. The key to activate the rune is the Dragon Tear. It was given to our ancestors by the extinct Dragonians as symbols of our friendship. It has been passed down to successive shamans, but... It was stolen and taken away from Goldo by an assailant. Their intent is unknown, but if they plan to activate the ancient ruin, a great disaster shall come about. Our people have been searching for it, but we have found no trace of it. Oh well, that's it. So, I shall end off the episode here, and in the next one we shall go and talk with Kucha and... Uh, Head for our next destination, hopefully. So this has been Albrodus. Thank you for watching. Stay froggy, everyone, and I hope to see you next time. See you then.